My name is Naor Cohen. For the last three years, I've been running a caviar substitute business. The process we use to turn our liquid mixture into pearls is called spherification. We've had so many requests to make this process available on the consumer level, and today, this is exactly what we are doing with the spherificator. Once you understand the simple process behind spherification, which we will show you in a few seconds, you'll have endless possibilities at your fingertips, from drinks, to appetizers, to main courses, and even desserts. The only limit is your imagination. Until now, the only tool available to make pearls and caviar using the spherification technique was using a good old syringe or pipette, taking you hours to make what the spherificator will do in seconds. Yes, just seconds. This is the latest innovation in food and beverage preparation. It's a way for chefs, bartenders, caterers, and even home food enthusiasts to really up their games with minimal cost, time, and effort. Let me show you what we're bringing to the table. Spherification can be done using raw ingredients or store-bought products. In this example, we are preparing a mix of red onions with red wine vinegar to form pearls for an oyster dish. Ingredients are thoroughly blended together with alginate. Some mixtures like this one blocks a lot of air bubbles during blending. Ideally, set it aside for two to three hours. In this case, we prepared it in advance. Most recipes can be created immediately without the need to be set aside. In a separate bowl, add your calcium chloride included with your spherificator and blend thoroughly. Add your prepared mixture into the spherificator and off you go making your own pearls. Depending on the thickness of your mixture, you can adjust the speed of the spherificator and you can also choose the needle tip if you want smaller or larger pearls. When you are done forming your pearls, transfer them into a strainer into clean water to rinse the excess calcium. You can also rinse them under tap water. Once rinsed, plate and serve. Now we are repeating the same process with Tabasco sauce to create a delicious oyster dish. And voila, with little effort, you can wow your guests every time. You can make anything from regular to fancy dishes. The only limitation is your imagination. We infused water with saffron to make saffron pearls and serve it atop smoked salmon. You've just upped the value of a traditional dish. This is a perfect example of fresh versus store-bought. For simplicity, we used tomato coulis to make our pearls, but you could have used fresh tomatoes as well. In five minutes, we transformed the classic Italian appetizer into a piece of art. How about dessert? A classic cheesecake with a side of mint pearls made with fresh mint, and black currant pearls made with store-bought syrup topping the cheesecake. Impress your guests or patrons by making coffee liqueur pearls and serving atop your favorite desserts. And from the bar, celebrate your next occasion with a glass of champagne with floating pearls. How about rum with coke pearls or mojito with mint pearls? Whether you're a novice in the kitchen or a seasoned chef, the spherificator will elevate your cuisine to a whole new level. The only limit is your imagination and creativity.